Okay, today we're going to talk about the five best upgrades for one of the coolest vehicles around, the Rock Hobby 1.6 MB Scaler Willys Jeep. So here it is, number two in our 2020 best RC car of the year. And it was no mistake, you know, after we ran it, after I talked to people, I still stand by my choice for 300 bucks with remote. You get this very cool, very capable, and most important, very endearing or um, a vehicle that you have fun with and you get attached to. And in the end, that's what the hobby is all about, right? A Christmas present to number one. And this is a good one. And it's so different from all your other vehicles that, you know, fall in love with it. So, what are the five best upgrades? This is really cool because it's not like the same as my, all my other lists. You know, all my other lists are like, yeah, wheels, yeah, tires. Yeah, put some brass. <laughs> That's three right there. This one, you won't hear that from me. So the number one upgrade for this vehicle is, it's free too, kinda, is fix the shocks. So when you get this, the shocks don't move. You press it hard and then they'll start moving, okay? But, and so what happens is a lot of people either fix their shocks or buy new shocks. Um, you know, my friend John Holmes, you know, bought new shocks right away, but incision shocks are like 100 bucks at least. Traction shocks, Element RC shocks, 100, 70 to 100. So I said, hold on, hold on. These look like pretty cool shocks. They're nice and big, you know. Let me give them a chance before, before I dump them. Because not only are they locked up, you know, they just seize up. And what they do is they put so much preload on them just to fight the shocks. I go, man, there's something wrong with this. So I think what happened is some tech in the back room decided to put some cooking oil um, or some mineral oil or some crap oil uh, in the shocks because the shocks are nice. Big bore, you know, nice, nice and smooth activation. They put some bad oil. So I said, before I, before I mess this thing up or spend a lot of money, let me put some 25 weight shock oil. 25, I normally put 30, but I said go 25, give it, make it free moving. The other thing I did is um, put some green slime. I'm not sure if I needed it, but hey, it's hanging around. So look what happened. Boom. Boom. Every time this thing is sitting for a week, no problem. And I, I took it to the trail, actuating like a boss. Okay, so fix the shocks, dump all the shock oil, uh, clean it out, make sure there's no trace of that, that poison, that cancer, and uh, put the new shock oil, 25 weight, put the green slime where the seals are, and boom. And while I was at it, I found they were, there was these 10 millimeter um, uh, shock limiters. What shock limiters do is they stop the action, you know? So I think 30% of the, the action is stopped and why did they do that i think they did it for the front because the front you know they travel a little deep and it might uh, interfere with the body but i'm willing to deal with that uh, at the very least take it out on the rear because there is no interference there whatsoever and you get what do you get articulation okay so number one is the shocks right number two is get a driver okay if you look at the the footage of this vehicle uh, with no driver, it looks so dumb. I don't know, I'm not sure why. I mean, none of my other cars have drivers, but because it's an open convertible with such a deep bed uh, and a Jeep and oh, everything going on, it looks dumb. Uh, it, also, the steering wheel is turning. So it looks like a ghost is turning it. So all you need to do is get a driver. Um, so you'll see my footage uh, with a driver. It looks so much better. And what you want to do with a driver is you get a, a 12 inch, driver or 11 inch driver it's a little bit tall but you know it's actually kind of realistic because the steering wheel is big and windshield is big and whatnot 
um, if you had loose arms, you know, maybe the, the, his arms will go like this. You know, the, these arms are kind of stiff. So what you want to do, uh, when you get your driver, you might have to chop the legs off. Uh, nobody's ever going to notice. So do something to shorten that stuff. The, 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 the seat is too high. It's like, it has like a baby seat. This is just a, a side effect of, of um, what you call this, uh, of, of bodies because they need a battery in there. So everything is elevated high. So what you do is you remove the cushion. So this guy was sitting up right here. You move this and boom, it's there. And you're not, nobody's gonna notice that it's there. If you're noticing it, you can just replace this, take this, this little canvas thing off um, and, and make it really thin. So you, you'll still get your realism, but he's gonna sit right. And you wanna mount them with rubber bands. Um, you don't wanna, you wanna, you don't wanna wedge him or what do you call that, screw him in or, or, or zip tie. You know, maybe some rubber bands because, you know, when he's swaying around, the rubber bands allow some movement. So one on the waist, like, like a seat belt, and maybe one, one, one in here. So you wanna give him a little bit of sway, that way it looks more realistic, okay? Now maybe I'll link to the, you know, it's, this is like a $19, $20 um, uh, soldier that I got. Say he's period incorrect, <laughs> obviously. He looks like Desert Storm and this is a World War II vehicle, but what the heck. So that's number two, right? Number three thing you wanna do with a vehicle like this is personalize it. So number one, I would I suggest is paint that engine, okay? Put some silver in there, chrome it out, put some dirt, maybe a rat's nest, whatever you want. Paint it up, uh, put some, uh, put up machine gun, you know, do what you want, make it your own. You know, that way you don't look like every other guy. Uh, oh, by the way, I have a tip for you guys since you uh, stuck around this video. Uh, this collapses. But I always felt like I was gonna break it. There's a lock here. All you need to do is push it here and that unlocks it. Boom. You can also uh, magnet mount this. Not magnet mount, but put a magnet here so it doesn't, it doesn't knock around while you're driving. Because you, you can drive around like this. Looks pretty darn cool. Uh, also, when you crash, uh, you, you, you um, bump your driver, but you don't break this, all right? So that's uh, how many we got? Three, right? So we're gonna go for uh, personalize and customize. We're gonna go for number four. So this body has a super nice pivot mount. It has two body clips here, which are impossible to get to because they're blocked by the bumper mount. But once you get them out, boom, it swivels like that. You have a little rod like this. Boom, boom. So you can work on it. But all you need to do is right here, put a magnet. Magnet here, magnet there. You can epoxy them, but best if you screw them on, and that way, it's locked. And some of these magnets, they take like five pounds worth of force to lift them up. So, perfect tension, they're not gonna release on you. And, you know, when you're in a pivot mount, the, the, there's no chance the body was gonna separate. It might open if you just roll it over like 15 times, but really, what you get is usability. You might not even, Oh, you'll still need your rod, but you, know, you won't need your body clips anymore. Okay? So, last, last few upgrades. Um, you know, we always say, change the servo, change the, change the tires, uh, change the wheels. You know, very expensive stuff, right? So the last thing I wanna say is, change the servo horn. This is plastic, you wanna steal one. Uh, get a steel one and get one that's longer. That way you have full actuation of your steering. One thing really cool with uh, uh, tires that are this small is it doesn't get away with the steering. So you can get your full actuation. These have universals, so you could really just crank it up um, and whatnot. Uh, and finally, I'll give you guys some bonus tips. Um, this bumper, this, this vehicle is really capable. It's crazy. Uh, but these bumpers are in the way. You can't push them in. Uh, you can't like flip them or whatnot. So if you wanted some options, um, and, and the reason why they're that far sticking out is because of the tires. You know, when, when you're turning, you know, right there, millimeter clearance, basically. That's about as, 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 as far as we go. So what you can do, if you want a little bit more performance, is either you buy a second one or cut these. Cut them so 
uh, th then you can you can push them in, right? So customize, uh, and you don't have to do it, but you know if you want to show up your friends, uh, they think you have a you know just just a shelf queen. Uh, you want you want to show show them how it can perform. You know you could do it that way. Uh, the pinion. The pinion, I wish you could change it because it's, this thing is super fast and you could uh, improve your modulation. Um, but I don't know how to, I don't know how to change it. You know, it's, it's a, it's a self-contained um, uh, transmission right on the motor. So if you guys know how, tell me, put in the comments. Uh, but the other thing that I would advise folks if they want to get a little higher performance is change the ESC. The ESC doesn't quite have enough control if you can't change the pinion, right? But the reverse is so wild. It just, it just jerks around so fast. So uh, that would be my advice. But there you go. Uh, there's also, you can also put a net, a roof on it. Uh, and it's, it's a factory product from Rock Hobby, $20. And you also have a trailer. I'll link to those as well. I, they look cool, but I haven't really tried them. They're, they're on their way to me, all right? But there you go, Rock Hobby, 1.6, MB Scaler, five best upgrades. Maybe I gave you like seven, but you know, hey, it's Christmas. Thanks a ton.